What's going on everybody? It's Brian for GumballTech.com and in this video I'll be showing you all the apps, hacks, and mods that I currently have installed onto my jailbroken iPad. Now my iPad is running iOS 4.2.1. It is jailbroken with red snow. It is a tethered jailbreak, but I can't remember the last time I actually needed to reboot my device. So like I usually do with these videos, I start at my lock screen. Nothing special here, but you can see that my slide to unlock bar has been extended all the way to the sides of the screen. And I was able to achieve this with lock bar extender. And all that does is it makes your slide to unlock bar larger. And I don't really have any themes installed. I can't really find any good iPad themes. Uh, let's go into my jailbreak folder and you can see I have Cydia, of course. I have Display Recorder, which lets you record whatever you have on your screen into an AVI file. Although I did find that the performance on the iPad is really horrible when compared to the iPhone 4. Now, of course, I have iFile, which is a really nice file manager and browser for the iOS. And I do have Installus, and the reason I have Installus on here is because there are a number of applications I've purchased on my iPhone, and I'd like to run them on my iPad natively. And to do that, I usually have to buy an HD version of a game. And an example of this would be Flight Control. Flight Control was 99 cents on my iPad or on my iPhone, and if I want to play it full screen on my iPad, I have to pay for a slightly different version. So I don't feel as if I have to do that. So that's what Installus is for. So whenever I have an application that I want to run natively and I've already purchased it on my iPhone 4, I mean, it just doesn't really make sense to pay more money just to run the application normally on a different device. So that's what that's all about. If you don't believe me, I don't care. Um, next up, we have Winterboard. I can't remember what I'm using this for. I think I actually have the mobile substrate extension disabled. So I'll probably get rid of Rid, a, rid of Winterboard as well. Over in, of course I have SP settings, it lets you turn certain settings on and off. Let's go over to my, oh, let me show you Gravaboard. Basically this is a cool little tweak that lets you turn your springboard into this little gravitational board. Let me turn it on, there it is. And basically what you can do is you can just take your icons, flick them around and just play around for a little bit. It's a cool little novelty app, or tweak I should say. You can also open applications and folders while, you're, while Gravaboard is enabled, and you could also do the same thing in your folders, as you can see here. So there you go, that is a quick look at Gravaboard. Oh, and my springboard just crashed. You can see that. So it looks like I'm in safe mode, so all of my mobile substrate extensions are currently disabled. So apparently that was a problem with Gravaboard. Maybe I'll report that to the developer. Let me go ahead and open up settings so you can check out all of my extensions. Of course I have Activator. Hopefully all of you guys know about that. I have Display Out, which lets you mirror whatever you see on your iPad screen onto an external TV or monitor using a VGA component or composite video cable. Here are the settings for display recorder. And full force is pretty cool. This lets you run iPhone only applications natively on your full screen here. Um, it doesn't work for everything. Some of these games it doesn't work. Real Racing 2 it doesn't work. Doodle Jump it sort of does. It works really really well with Crash Cart as well as the Crash Nitro Kart 2. It also works really great with Game of Life, so that's pretty nice. Uh, it doesn't work for everything. Like if I show you full force with Q status, you're going to see that everything is all messed up and it's not even close to the way it should be. So you can see how weird Q status looks after enabling full force. Um, here are the settings for Gravaboard. Let's you choose some of the activation methods, some gravitational options and stuff like that. And here we have Safari Downloader, or yeah, Safari Download Manager. And basically what this does is it lets you download files from right within Safari. Because there's this new button in Safari, and this is basically your download manager. So it's really nice. It's also available for the iPhone 4. I showed you guys that yesterday. And here is another setting for Winterboard. 
And that is everything that I have currently installed onto my iPhone 4. Thanks a lot for watching. You can leave any of your comments, questions, or suggestions down below in the comments area. And that's it. So once again, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon.